what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? A gunman opened fire at a restaurant in Oklahoma City, but it didn't turn out like he thought it would. I mean, I'm sure he thought it was going to go the way all of the other shootings have been going. Gunman goes in, pick off random innocent people at will. He decides whether he wants to turn himself in or kill himself. You know, everything is on his terms. Everything, except when it don't go as planned. In this case, you had not one, but two men who ran to their cars when the shooting started, got their guns, came back and bust this ass wide open. That's how you do it, man. I can't stand these random ass dudes. I mean, for all of the causes out there, the things that you could actually, you know, get gangster behind. I mean, these dudes go off behind the simplest things. I lost my job. Uh, she quit me. She don't want to date me no more. Uh, I got picked on when I was in elementary school. Um, I'm getting gray hairs. These clowns. Man, that's that needs to be a new trend. I like that. Kill they asses. I love it. This is why the Second Amendment was created. It is serving its purpose so that the good guys can take out the bad guys and protect themselves because the police ain't gonna do it. When the police protect the public, it's very random and it's very rare. Normally they show up after the killing takes place. Normally they show up after the boyfriend or the husband has beaten his girlfriend or the wife to a pulp. Normally they show up after the ruckus or they show up and create the ruckus. They create the chaos. Police ain't gonna save you. Man, citizens have to save themselves. I am a huge proponent of the Second Amendment. I do believe that citizens need to arm themselves. Just think. Anybody that is criminal minded and they want to jack, they want to kick in doors, they want to home invade, they're going to get them some guns and they know everybody else is, it don't, don't have any guns, so they're just going to go and do whatever they want to do. The idea that somebody on the other side of that door might be strapped, might have a gun waiting for your ass is enough to deter a lot of home invasions. The idea that you sit sitting in that restaurant and you ready to pop off on some people and that a couple of them may, in here may be armed might be enough for you saying, you know what? Mm, I don't think I'll go into that restaurant. People need to have, people that intend on harming people, innocent people, they should always fear being harmed. Otherwise, they have no incentive to not harm people. Listen to what I'm saying. Shoot fit way. Apply it as you may. People who are intent on harming innocent people, doing people dirty just because they can do it, killing people just because they can, if there is no 
repercussions, if there's no threat of them being harmed themselves, them being murdered themselves, they have no, absolutely no incentive not to do so because they don't have a conscience. That's not going to stop them. They don't have any morals, no scruples. That None of that is going to, they have no decency. None of that is going to stop them. The only thing that will stop them is imminent danger. Not the threat, but imminent danger. That occurred with a whole lot of things. Big shout out to the guys who went in there and bust back. Not only did they save civilian lives, but they saved us some tax dollars. I like that. Good guys. I like to shake their hands someday. The perpetrator got exactly what he deserved. He didn't get the fire off like he wanted to. He injured three people, and oh, those people are all expected to recover. But it didn't go like he wanted it to go. I like that. Only thing I wish is that when they shot him, they could have like played tic-tac-toe with his ass, like pop, 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 pop. I don't like him at all. I don't like those types of that at all. Like, do them any kind of way you want to do them. Not their noodles. I don't give a damn. Those two guys who went to the car and got their pistols, they were true first responders. We need more of this and less protesting. And I'm not just talking about protesting of mass murderers. Again, shoot fit wear, take it like you want to. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.